Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to Bass Boxing Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little uh, Shop Carl's unboxing. I picked up some more stuff from Shop Carl's. Uh, mainly I picked up some Dugan stuff. They had some uh, new colors out that I wanted to kind of show y'all on. Plus I picked up some baits and all that good stuff. Uh, anyways, I uh, wanted to thank y'all for uh, all the liking and subscribing and all that good stuff. Uh, so I have a question for y'all. We have made it to 350. And as promised, I'm gonna add two more baits to the uh, box. I was gonna see if y'all want me to do the drawing tomorrow, or if y'all wanna wait two more weeks and uh, see if we can make it to 375 and I'll add five baits, five more baits to the box. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, so comment in the section below, in the comment section, and let me know what y'all want to do. Uh, y'all can, uh, you know, comment, wait, or y'all want me to go ahead and do the drawing tomorrow for the 300 uh, sub giveaway. I was supposed to do it today, but I'm running low on time, and I'm just going to put out this little video real quick. So, uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to see if y'all wanted to let it run for two more weeks and see what happens, or if y'all wanted to just go ahead and do it. All right. So, anyways, like, like I said again, thank y'all for all y'all support. I really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, anyways, here's the baits. I'm going to add this to it. This is, uh, the Lunker Hunt Gambit Swim Bait. It's in a silver side. Weighs five eighths of an ounce. Uh, really neat little bait. It's a little soft plastic swimmer. It's already got the hook built into it. Makes it weedless. So I'm going to add that to y'all's box. Next is going to be uh, the Rebel Track Down in Tennessee Shed. I'm going to add that to it. And I'm also going to add these in there. I know it's supposed to be two, but I'm just going to go ahead and add these in there. These are the Thunder Hunt, Thunder Hawk Hybrid Divers in a 3 8 ounce. The color is clear chartreuse. Really good bait, comes with two jig heads and then an extra swimmer. So, anyways, I'm gonna add that to y'all's box. Uh, here's what y'all's box is looking like right now. So, anyways, uh, if, like I said, if you ain't got in on that giveaway, make sure you get in, in it by tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, like I said, comment in the uh, comment section and let me know if y'all want me to do the drawing tomorrow for the 300 sub giveaway or if y'all want to run it for two more weeks and see if we can get up to 375 and i'll add five more items into the box that is totally up to y'all it ain't gonna hurt my feelings either way uh y'all are why i do this so yeah like i said i really appreciate it comment let me know uh what I'll do is uh, I'll go on, uh, I'll look at all the comments and base my judgment off of uh, how many we get for each. You know, if I get more people wanting to wait, then I'm going to do it that way. If I get more people wanting to go ahead and do it, then I'm going to do it tomorrow. So, anyways, uh, so here's our shop girls order and i've already gotten into it so but i'm always gonna show y'all y'all know that get these items out of here right. so first step this is uh, the Guggen Crack and Curl. And uh, the color on this one is called Green Pumpkin Purple, which I thought was really neat. Had to get in on that. 
as you can see right there it's a real purple tint with some green get one of these out of the pack and show it to you But yeah, I really like how they put that purple on the bottom like that. And, uh, you know, put the other side as the green pumpkin. So, yeah, I mean, I was really impressed, but I was glad to see that they come out with some new colors. So yeah, that's the Guggen Crack and Crawl and a green pumpkin purple. Next up is the Guggen Bates 3.3 inch Bandito Bug Junior. I thought that was kind of cool. I didn't notice they did the packages like at the Junior Edition, so I don't know if this is new packaging or what. But this one is in a color called Sprayed Lettuce, which I thought was kind of funny considering no, if y'all watch No Redemption Outdoors, he did a thing the other day or a video a while back where he would like made a piece of lettuce into a lure. I thought that was kind of weird. Now they got sprayed lettuce and I'm sure it resembles like sprayed, uh, sprayed grass or sprayed candy or something like that. But anyways, I needed some of these little ones. So A real neat color it's got that uh like a what do you call that a candy a candy green side and uh, on the back is that real bright purple which with a lot of glitter I mean it's got green purple yeah green and purple glitter I thought that was real neat Plus, I like the size of that. That thing's perfect. Of course, the normal size ones work good. I mean, the, are the perfect size, too. They're not too big, either. The only one I was really worried about was the trench hog, really. The trench hog, you know, the trench hog, the normal size of it's like this big. So, yeah, that's that sprayed lettuce color. I thought that was a real neat color. And then I got me some uh, Guggen 4-inch Lunker Logs in the green pumpkin purple. Stacking up on my stick bait, getting ready for the spring. You know you can never go wrong with them. I went and bought a bunch of these smaller ones. But you can see, like, it's got that, that green pumpkin on one side. And then turn it over and there's the purple. I really like that. It's just something different. Gives them something different to look at. I went through and y'all watched the video a couple, a couple of days ago where I went through and bought a bunch of uh, Yum Cinco's. And uh, got a bunch of different colors and stuff. Can't ever go wrong with them. Next up, I bought this uh, Molex Nano Jig. And I did not realize how small this thing was. I mean, this thing is about... It's got to be smaller than a Firecracker Jig. It's uh, 3 sixteenths of an ounce. The color is uh, black, blue, purple. But I couldn't believe how small it was. I was like, man, that's really a nano jig right there. I mean, look at that little baby. So I guess the nano jigs are smaller than the finesse jigs is what I'm going to get to. I mean, that's what I'm assuming. But look at that head. That head's got a cool, wicked design to it. 
and y'all can just see like the purple the blue and then it's got this weird shaped head and then it's got that clear brush guard on it uh does it have a keeper yes it does it's got your regular old standard standard head keeper so little video hook but yeah man I'm going to tell you, there, there ain't too much that ain't going to be able to eat that. There's no telling what you'll catch off that little dig. But yeah, I find that pretty cool when I got it in and I seen that. I was like, man, I was like, that thing is teeny tiny. But I guess that's why they call it a nano jig. I mean, they really went to the bank on making that thing small. But, like I said, man, you can fish it a million different ways and catch a lot of different kinds of fish off that. You know, Brandon Polinick, Justin Lucas, and Jason Elm, they use it. Next up, I got me a, a Guggen Clutch, which ain't nothing special. It's a two and a half, two and a half inch long bait, a half an ounce. But y'all know right now it's the time to be throwing these. And, uh, basically, I just got it because I wanted a different color than some of the ones I've already got. And uh, one thing about Guggen, they sure do pack their stuff in there good. But this one's called the Aurora Shed which is usually the one that's advertised right whenever you see their baits and i just thought this thing was just like wicked cool color blue green silver you name it but uh you know gigan makes a good a good uh rattle trap or lipless whatever you want to however you want to call it uh can't go wrong with that so you know like I said I just wanted to add some more collect, uh, colors to my arsenal and I seen that Aurora shed and I was like bet uh, I think I just got one the other day oh yeah I did this was uh, I don't even know how you call that the Sarkarsha Sakrashi Sakrashi curl so now yeah, I've got more. Plus I've got the mud bug and I think one other color. Next up, I bought me another jerk bait. This one is uh made by Rapala. It's a slow sinking. Uh the color's ghost. And this one is uh what is it? I forgot how long it is. Uh, they don't say on, oh, here it is. Uh, it dives two to four feet, and it's uh, seven sixteenths of an ounce, and four and three eighths inches long. And of course, Come on now. Alright, we got it out of there. But yeah, this was a real cool color. I had to have this one when I seen it. You know, it's uh got that white on the top solid white I mean pearl white pearl white on the bottom with that little bit of orange and then it's got that translucent body with that silver and then you got the little uh little eyes on it and uh it's flat sided too so that's cool and uh 
You can see the little transfer system down there in the bottom with the BBs. So, got three nice VMC hooks on it. Really good bait. Now's the time of the year to be throwing them too. I mean, and then next up is a uh, <clears throat> a Yozuri 3DB jerk bait 110. It's a uh, four and three eighths inches long, weighs half an ounce. Uh, it's a suspending, and the color on this one is a uh, sexy bone. Really like this one. I like this color. I, lo I like Yozuri baits. They make some really good quality baits. They're kind of pricey, but, you know, they're worth the money. And that right there is just a crazy, cool color. It's got that uh, bright chartreuse, like, green on the bottom. And then it's got, like, the little white lines going through the top of it that make, like, the bones... And then that blue toward the front. And then you got that purple. There's purple on top. And, uh, yeah, I just thought it was really nice. I like it. It's a flat side also. I don't have a lot of flat sides, so that's nice. I get to, I'm going to start building up my flat sides. They say they work really good in cold water, the flat sides do. But, I used the flat side last year, or maybe it was the year before last, and it seemed like the flat side was the only one that they would hit. So, I'm going to start building up my collection on that. And, uh, Cobb to prove, uh, this is, uh, their Prism version which I really like, really cool. They use, uh, it dives uh, three to five feet. So it goes about a foot deeper than that Rapala does. Uh, I got these in the other day in the mail. These are called the Cream Real Screamers. I'd never seen them before, but it's a, their version, their take on the swim bait. And the color on this is called Muddy Tramp, which I thought was kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, I think they're like five inches long. That's what I want to say. It's a five pack. <clears throat> and, uh, this one right here is a, uh, got a weird profile to it. It's got all these like little divided lines that go through it. Almost kind of like the, uh, what is it? The, Chir the 13 Fish and Cheerio is what it kind of reminds me of as far as the body goes. <clears throat> and then you got this big old boot tail flapper, but that color is just crazy. It's got that blue flake on top with the bright blue color. And then it's like a real dark green on the bottom with some black flake and uh, you know you got your little eyes on the front with that little head and I think this thing right here is going to create a lot of action uh, so yeah that's that and like I said you, you know you can't rig it wrong I think you could almost use this like a fluke So that's your cream baits. So that's a different style of a, uh, you know, swim bait. I thought that was real cool. And then I got me some uh, fishing line. I had never tried this. It's called uh, the P line C21. I use a lot of P line and. Uh, Never had no problem with it. This one's a co-polymer. 
uh, if that's a superior not not strength and uh, superior castability. <coughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, so yeah, it's 10 pound test line. The diameter on it is uh, 0 0.27 meters, and it's 300 yards. And they had it on sale for like 5.99. So I bought two of them. Give me 600 yards. Uh, that way I can rig up some of these uh, rods with a little bit lighter line. Right now I've got, I think, uh, 12 and 15 on some of them. And I want to, I think I want to uh, drop down to a 10. I think it'd be better on some of my, you know, my lighter rods. So, anyways, y'all, that's uh, today's little unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh... Like I said, get down in the comment section. Let me know if y'all want to go ahead and do the drawing for the 300 subscriber giveaway tomorrow. Or if y'all want to wait two weeks and see if y'all can get that extra five baits added in there. Don't forget I added three baits to it today. So uh, y'all are doing real good, man. Y'all, My subscriber count jumped up quite a bit in two weeks. So I'm happy about that and I can't do it without y'all. Uh, also, don't forget, you know, if y'all go shop at uh, Thunderhawk, Bass Box and 10 saves you 10%. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to, I want to say it's River Rat Fishing. Thank you for using my code. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, if y'all do use my code, get on Instagram or email me and uh, let me know that you use my code and I'll give you a shout out on the channel. That's the fact that's what we'll start doing. For everybody that uses my code, I'll give a shout out on the channel. So, anyways, like I said, comment in the section below. Let me know if y'all want me to do the drawing tomorrow or wait two more weeks. Up to y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all are the best subscribers ever. Keep it up. Have a good night.